All right, Black Clover, episodes 126 and 127. This one's called The Blue Rose's Confession. The next one's called Clues. I'm assuming we're going to get some info on these devils we're trying to research, but I'm curious what Charlotte or the Blue Roses are going to confess. I'm very excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover, episode 126 and 127, like I said. Last episode, we had a filler episode, but it kind of tied into the main story, which is right now, Asta is trying to prove his innocence, so we're going back to the base. We are then in tasked with the rest of the Black Bulls to gather clues on the devils, so we can prove that our devil is not malice or is not hostile towards the clover kingdom and we can control it henceforth getting more info at the same time all around all in all around a good plan from julius so i'm excited to find out what happens with that like i said i have no idea where this could go i have no idea what clues or what evidence what path leads towards the devil how can we even start that mission i'm assuming if I had to guess something, it's going to have something to do with the spade arc because I'm, I've seen in the opening, which is a new version of opening 10, by the way. I very much enjoy it. Um, A few characters with like the spade logo on their back and they have like uh, the devilish kind of red eye with like a black streak over their eye. It looks super sick. So that's what I'd assume. Very excited. We do have a few, quite a few episodes of filler coming up. As long as it's not pure recap and it is original animation, I'm most definitely going to be watching all the filler. So look out for that. It's going to be a good time. I say I got to find out what happens in these episodes. Don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead. Uh, links in the description down below on Patreon. Make sure to go check that out. If you guys want to support me and Patreon, it's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment. It really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. Black Clover, episode 126, The Blue Roses Confession. Let's do this all right here we go episode 126 yes we're already starting that curse the wag yeah like the horn everything like that yeah so it's a place to start let's go no hesitation and I, yeah i'm so down for narrow to come the Magic Knight Squad Hospital. Oh, the Blue Roses Confession. Soul and Charlotte. As much as she hates to admit a man did it. Yes. Oh, I wish you could have seen Yami Charlotte. Oh, so she could see it. It was a dream for her, though. That's hilarious. Yeah, him and Sharla. Yes, I remember Sharla leaving. He was like, I'm pretty sure the human who's going to retake back this body is going to be pretty awkward. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. I wouldn't say so. Yami, along with Asta, are very oblivious when it comes to women. Maybe, but I doubt it. Oh, speak of the devil! Uh, she sounds like a possessed demon. I've never heard Charlotte scream like that. Come on, prickly queen. I love that cute nickname, too. And now Soul's like on his side. Normally she would chase any man away. But if it's Yami, he's a special exception. Is he going to ask her about her curse? That would be an actual good place to start. No, Charlotte, it's not about how you feel. <laughs> Even the bird is like, what the hell? Bye, Charlotte. It was, <laughs> it was nice seeing you. She had to make a quick U-turn real quick. Drop back off that baby. <laughs> She's just out here stealing babies. This woman. 
<laughs> it's something else. That was hilarious. Are we going to get that flashback again? I remember that. Charlotte is uh, definitely a waifu of this show. She is up there with the top tier waifus. That would be me. I'd be... I would be right next to him. No, please marry me. Whoa, men who are all talk? I wonder if she'd deny me. She probably would. I'm not Yami. I couldn't even compete. If I can't, I'd... Yep. There we go. There's her answer. This is when he was like, you're always tough. You're always cool as a cucumber. But it's always okay to ask for help sometimes, you know? Like, come on. You don't have to do everything on your own. That's a big thing. I'm so curious about what activated and then broke the curse. <laughs> Pooly Pooly, look at her. Oh. I'm what? What were you going to say, Charlotte? I wonder what this announcement's going to be. It's either she's retiring or she's allowing men. Wow. She can't be honest with Yami, so she'll at least be honest with her girls, you know? <laughs> she's being very vulnerable right now. I wish Noelle and Mimosa would both do this about a certain main character. I think you guys know who I'm talking about. So I respect each other for even having the courage to do this. Even in front of just your friends, you know. This is still... <laughs> Are they going to be supportive? That's what I wonder. <laughs> hey, talk about the definition of supportive. Hey, I ship him too. I'm down. Well, she's just a savage. Okay, everyone's got boys. No one followed the rules. <laughs> now she's being bombarded. <laughs> Unique and indescribable. That's what he thinks because you can tell she feels awkward and different around him specifically. And then the running and the screaming really just set in stone it. You've done it now, Charlotte. Yeah, he is. I I said that. I knew that. Him and Asa are all. Come on. They're the most oblivious people here. Asa, wingman? Oh, that makes you even more oblivious. <laughs> a candle lit dinner. With a nighttime view over the city, over the capital. This truly is romance in its finest. <laughs> Stop saying Toki Toki. Okay. We got the stars like glistening around his face. This is literally the night of her dreams. She wanted it to be so much. She wanted. <laughs> Come on. We're not talking about throw him in jail. We're not talking about fine him, community service. We're talking about execution. Like curse mage who had a grudge against my family, really? A curse mage. So that's what causes to activate, just 18. And the quality of my magic itself. Oh, no, you already gave me more information than we had before. So I'm already... Thank you, Missy. I was going to say, Gordon's a curse, right? Gordon, Oster, or Sekre? Gordon. He is a curse magic user, right? It's so creepy. Like, he is the least creepy person in the world. But then they show him doing these sort of activities. God damn it, Gordon. Why do you have to look like that? Oh, my. All right, on to episode 127. This one is called Clues. 
his home. We are going to be asking Gordon. I know he's so scary, but also the friendliest person in the world. It would make sense. His family is known for curse magic. If anyone knows about forbidden, it'd be curses. Asta will be executed. That's going to give him all the motivation he needs. It's my dude. Yeah, I remember he had a little backstory. It was so sad. That's why he's so eager to make friends, you know? And they really, they wouldn't even help at all? Like I, I've said it before, Gordon's one of the dopest in the squad. I love how quiet and reserved he is, you know? Which is crazy when you think about it, you know? You literally can't really do anything positive. It's all negative. Alright, we're going to investigate Gordon's home. This should be interesting, to say the least. I mean, look at their fence. Even their f if You have a fence that looks like that. A witch lives here. Pretty much. Yeah, it's basically a haunted house. Pretty much. I wonder what they're, they look like. I like the, their purple door knocker thing. I wonder if their family's going to have the same black eye makeup around them. Yep, that's what I was just wondering. They look like... What's that one family? The Adams family? They look like the Adams family. They look very weird. Father. Nathan. Yona. Nelenia. Roxanne. Nunali. Oh, Nunali. It's like from Code Geass. Yeah. Was this looks like we're eating at the Hotel Transylvania. This literally looks like the Adams family. Yeah, talk about looks. That's those are eyeballs. Oh, she also wants to be best friends with people. The Curse of Megacula. Yup, right there, there's a clue. Why did she slam the table like that? I have a strong feeling he's gonna say no. But we still need that info, so I'm curious how we're gonna get it. Oh! Never mind. That was easy. Touche. What is this like Frankenstein's laboratory? Why did the lightning strike at the perfect time? It's like we're watching a Scooby-Doo episode. He's got a butcher knife. Skeletons. Black oil creation curse filled nails. He can get his like physical condition from that. Is that a five leaf gro uh, grimoire he has? Really? That'd be so handy to have. If we can teach Gordon that? In the... Yeah. I was expecting them to be way more dark and way more evil. Yeah, 
Yeah, a little bit. It was like some creepy haunted Halloween music they were just playing. Oh, hello, Miss Dorothy. She helping rebuild? Ah, that would actually is very handy. Hello, Miss Noel. This is our first time seeing Dorothy awake in person outside of what just happened with the elves, you know? Damn, look how destroyed the city is. What are the CIA after him? Dorothy has clues as to the secret death that should not be of this world that caused Aesir to die? You'll get cursed. So we go over to her dream world, we can speak as much as we'd like. I always love coming in here. I love the the color saturation. I love the pinks. Oh yeah, Noelle wasn't in here when it was Luck and Magda and all them, huh? Was she? No, she wasn't. Because it was Sally, Luck, Magna, all of them, yeah. This is made by Dorothy. It's, that's that's messed up. From your thoughts, so she can go into your thoughts as well. Is Nozel, is that actually? Is it actually Nozel though? So this is a Nozel that I thought up, okay. He hasn't told any of his siblings, not let alone Noel. Really? Yeah, well that's ass. It's like Voldemort, just can't say it? it makes sense, he went along the whole time with blaming Noel. Yeah, that was quite the anomaly. Their shadow? Ma that's the one that... That's the one that Gordon's grandma was talking about, the contract to their family. Curse, candle, ritual, disc? His spells look crazy. I feel like I'm playing The Binding of Isaac or like Terraria or something when I look at his magic, you know? He has a map showing curses. Curse, uh, Henry? That's what I would, that's what I was guessing. In the capital. Charlotte? I think the next episode has like the Heart Kingdom in the title. Oh my god, that was already the end of the episode? Damn it! Next episode is called To the Heart Kingdom. Okay. All right, well, those were some fun episodes. I am enjoying the pacing. We are definitely getting right on in it in terms of finding clues and getting evidence towards these devils because we know nothing about them. In terms of that, I like Yami's idea. Who's the only other person we know, especially that we're close with, that has a curse as well? Let's go ask Charlotte. Charlotte says, in terms of curses, well, you know, she, she recommends that we... Oh, the first thing, the whole Charlotte, Yami, the girls supporting Charlotte and her interest of Yami was super cute. I like that, you know, you know, girl power, let's go. I really actually do ship them together as well. Yami and Charlotte would make a power couple. They would have some badass babies as well. Um, but she recommended we go see the Agrippa family. There is a curse magic user who's a part of our squad whose family is excels in curses. 
and talk about creepy holy shit their family is crazy talk about the adams family on crack i got a mix between the adams family and knives out with like the some with like the differences in the family and then the grandma just being completely out of it the whole time that's literally like the knives out grandma but she said something about you know something about the curse and the contract of this family the ancestors made the contract to a devil called Melic magic Mel magic megacula oh my god am i sorry but that's the one that was talked about as well that's the one who apparently not only made the contract with the agrippa family but also killed acr silva and if you mention it or talk about it you can also be led down the same fate and get the same curse and die like that's crazy and not only that but i'm really enjoying um nathan gordon's dad's magic and how it looks how it like curses comes out of his fingers and stuff like that and it creates like oh it's really cool i love the differences in like the guiding map utility style spells whether it's mimosas whether it's that stone dude from the golden dawn or versus like nathan's how we can do like locate curses and stuff like that but i love how big the flames are like we can tell oh henry probably has a curse that makes sense there's a couple of curses over in the, the uh, capital charlotte maybe a few smaller ones and we also have a huge one in the heart kingdom so that's where we're going next it was i'm super intrigued by that it was great seeing dorothy as well i love seeing her glamour world and i love the colors and everything in there Man, we are making progress. We are getting there. I am excited. Hopefully, you guys are as well. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for early access, full length. Links are in the description, like always. Don't forget to follow the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Be safe out there. Tell somebody you love them. Have a great day. Peace.